Hi, everybody. Today I'm going to explain to you why doing chin tucks is probably doing much more harm to your posture than good, and a few different techniques that you can use, three in fact, in order to improve your posture for the long term. So first and foremost, why aren't I a fan of people doing these chin tuck routines? Well, proper posture always results in more ease in your body, not more tension. This is a really unnatural movement, and if you put your hand in the back of your head, you'll be able to feel as you do that, that you're building tension in the back of your neck. You do not have poor posture simply because you've got weakness in the back of your neck. It's a much more dynamic whole body issue posture is, and so please do not do those chin tacks. I promise you, you're just gonna build tension in the wrong areas of your body, and it will not result in proper posture moving forward. So what will result in proper posture moving forward? Well, first and foremost, we have to talk about the foundations of your body. So what I mean by that is where your body weight is in your body. So picture, picture a Jenga tower. You know how a tower of Jenga, first and foremost, we need to make sure that the base is level and strong, that the base is not shifted off to one side or another, or you'd spend your entire game trying to compensate for that, building what we would call all kinds of tensions within our body. So do this little exercise with me and you'll see what I mean. So just stand with your feet hips width apart and notice where your body weight is. So picture your the area under your big toe, your baby toe, and your heel. So it almost makes a triangle. And most of us notice if you just stand, relax, the most of your weight is within the front of your body, the front of the foot. So the big toe and the baby toe area are taking a lot of the weight of your body. So what that means is that your body's naturally shifted forward and we're hanging our body forward. So just simply shift your weight so your weight is 50% in your heel and 50% in the front of your foot. Immediately what you're gonna notice is all the muscles in the back part of your body are gonna kick on. So you may even have fallen back if they've gotten weak over time. But all the muscles in the back of your body are gonna kick on and notice where your head is. I bet you it's not hanging forward nearly as much. So we're not gonna correct our body. If our body weight's forward, you can chin tuck till the cows come home. You're never gonna correct, correct your posture. Tip number one, shift your weight more into your heels when you're standing, and you'll notice right away that your head will sit in the right position. I'm gonna show you now how to do that if you're sitting in a chair. So, how do I do if I'm sitting in my chair? Well, it's very simple, but I'll put a much more detailed explanation below in the description, because we have another YouTube videos that covers this in much more detail. But simply, feel where the sits bones are that you're sitting on, and I'm gonna bet you spend most of your day with your weight hanging out behind them, causing your body weight to shift so that your head has to come forward. And so all that you need to do is just roll your body weight so it's sitting slightly more in the front of those sits bones. The second you do that, you'll notice your head isn't gonna come forward as much because if my head comes forward, I'd have to do this to balance it out. So if we can keep the foundation in the right position here, my spine nice and relaxed, my weight just forward of those bones that I'm sitting on with my spine resting within my pelvis. Now your head will stay in the right position in much to a much greater degree without ever having to think about your head. So that was tip number one. Tip number two, think up and not back. So, so often when people are trying to correct their posture, what they're constantly trying to do is pull their chin back, pull their shoulder blades back. And that is never gonna correct your posture. Proper posture is about staying neutral as we just chatted about your body weight and then growing taller. So the muscles that we actually wanna use are these muscles in our neck that you see women who are carrying baskets on their head and things using that will actually pull your head up. So there's a few different ways of learning to do that. So one is just get into that position we chatted about with more half your weight on your heels, half your weight on your feet. And at the same time that you're allowing your feet to sink into the ground, picture an area about two inches above your head. And you're gonna notice that just focusing on it lifts your head up slightly. Uh, the interesting thing is, is as you do that, you'll notice how much your core turns on. So this is how you get core strength without doing all those crazy core exercises. All that you do is you allow your heels and your feet to sink into the ground as you pull your head two inches above your body. Now, 
That's not always so easy for some of us who haven't practiced it before. So I'm gonna show you a really ridiculous way to practice this at home. So this is a bag of Kamut pasta that I got out of my cupboard. You can also use a bag of rice. You could use a bean bag. And all I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put it on the crown of my head. So right in the center, not towards the front, not towards the back. And that little bit of weight on my head, all that you're gonna do there is I'm gonna, you're gonna try to lift it. So as it's pushing down, you're gonna lift it up. And you're gonna notice that these longus capitis muscles that make, your, that make your neck nice and long, they will start to contract. And so what you're gonna feel is you're gonna feel your head moving up, you're gonna feel this lovely posture, and you're gonna be training them to hold your head in the right position as you move throughout your day. So again, when it comes to proper posture, never think back, think up. So your head is gonna move up, your heels are gonna move into the floor as the shoulder blades slide down your back. Tip number three, your head's gonna go where your eyes are going. In more ways than we realize, our eyes are controlling the muscles of our neck. So we're gonna do this really cool experiment together. The first time I did this, I was blown away. So all I'm gonna have you do is I'm gonna have you put two fingers from each hand right at the base of your neck where your neck meets your hairline. So right in that area that gets really tight all day long. So just like this, grab two fingers and put it in through that area and just up, sit up tall and relax and I'm just gonna have you close your eyes. So just gently feel what's going on under your fingers. With your eyes closed, I want you to move your eyes around. So move to the right, move to the left, look up, look down. Are you noticing what's happening in the muscles at the base of your neck? The muscles of your base of your neck are turning on, turning off, and holding your, getting ready to hold your head in different positions simply by moving your eyes. There's a connection between your eyes and the base of your neck. What that means is you'll notice that if you are, your eyes are going down all day long because your computer screen is too low, not only will these muscles become lax, but your head's gonna start to move into that direction and no, no posture training is ever gonna be able to fix that. So we really need to make sure that your eyes are always at the right angle throughout the day because that will naturally turn on the muscles of your neck to hold your head in the proper position without you having to think about it. I have many patients who have come to me with chronic headache and neck pain for many, many years and they've been suffering quite a bit and all that we simply do is change the angle of where their screen is, change what they're looking for, put their laptop up on a stand and miraculously their daily headaches disappear for them. So these are your three posture tips for the day. We don't want you to do any more of those ridiculous chin tucks. Instead, figure out where your foundation's at. Think up, not back. So we're constantly getting longer and follow the eyes. So really notice where your gaze is going throughout your day. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please press like and subscribe to our channel for more of these great posture tips.